What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video and in this one I'm going to be going over a unique cover 3 one play touchdown uh, that we saw from Spot Me Please out of the Ultimate League. Uh, this example is going to be when he was playing Ghosts in week 9. And you know a lot of people know about the typical cover 3 beaters like the most popular one is probably Corner Strike at a Gun Bunch where you max protect you know fade the receiver right by the corner route the corner route distracts the deep third on the outside and you can pass lead the fade route to the outside for an easy one play touchdown against most cover three setups so that's usually how a lot of the popular cover three one play touchdowns are structured this year so i thought this one was pretty unique and there's a couple things that go into it so first it's recognition right so ghost is a guy who typically runs a lot of you know, nickel 335 Tampa 2, and that's what he was running throughout this tournament for the majority of the time. However, as you can see, he's in a 146 look, big dime 146 here. And so it's recognizing the fact that every time Ghost goes to 146, you know, 99% of the time he's running crossfire. So Spot Me knows that he's going to see a three deep shell here. And then the other recognition is seeing that Ghost has base aligned and pressed. And so the important thing is the fact that the right side cornerback way out here, who's going to be dropping back, you know, to play this deep third on the sideline, is pressed up to the line of scrimmage. And Ghost has a false sense of security here because of the fact that, you know, a lot of times base aligned pressing, you have to worry about that outside cornerback getting beat deep. If there's a receiver out there, that's been a problem this year. You know, deep thirds and deep quarter zones uh, don't, you know, run back at the snap they kind of backpedal and let receivers get behind them but bunch tight in you know there's no receiving threat out there so it looks like it's safe to base line and press but spot me is going to show us that that's not the case and that he has a setup ready for this exact defense so what he's going to do is he's going to call pa boot over and you're going to go ahead and see what he does right here he's going to motion julio in a step go through with the play action and show us so it's a three-man route and so what he does is rather simple he goes with a streak right here to distract the middle third safety he has a post route from julio and that's going to be the important route here so he's got a post route that he motioned and then he's going to be cutting deep over the middle of the field and then he's got the shallow crossing route underneath coming right there and that's actually going to be the route that ends up kind of distracting this outside deep third defender as you can see he's already he's still backpedaling and looking down you know towards the line of scrimmage and, and that's the action that you're going to see throughout this play and what allows julio to ultimately get behind so motioning in that post route brought him over a little bit made it you know him have to travel a little less area post snap to be able to reach and cross the, the safety's face the, the middle third safety and get behind that deep corner zone on the right side and so right here you can see and you can actually see the moment <laughs> whenever ghost realizes what happened you can see ghost's face he knows because his cornerbacks literally just in no man's land spot me easily could have just set his feet and hit the underneath route or in this case he has more than enough time because ghost blitzed i think six maybe even seven and so right here uh, this is the guy that really just gets picked on here once again he crosses the face of the middle third safety the safety is distracted by the streak route anyways and there's a lot of open real estate back there for spot me to go ahead set his feet nice pass says he's under pressure still gets the ball there in time tries to make a spin but gets all the way down to go his 10 yard line and then he ends up scoring on a halfback draw the very next play now a little later in that same game spot me gonna try and go back to the same setup but you're going to see the adjustment from Ghost. So once again, he's in 146. You know Crossfire is probably coming, but now notice pre-snap it's different. He's not pressed up on the line of scrimmage with his outside defender. And you're going to notice that post-snap, if you watch the defensive back closely, notice how quickly he bails. That definitely looks like Ghost went ahead and put that guy into a deep half. And so, like I said earlier, deep third zones and deep quarter zones have the potential to get beat deep because of how slowly they kind of turn and bail but the deep half zone is going to bail very very quickly and it's harder to get behind them so it looks like ghost with the adjustment knows that you know a one play touchdown could be coming from spot me not only does he not press but he also alters the zone so that he does get beat deep as easily in this case spot me's underneath route actually ends up getting caught up on the lineman but ghost knows where he needs to be he knows he's not going to get beat deep so you see him playing underneath with his user defender kind of Gets a little lost in the shuffle there. Spot me with a nice playmaker back over the middle and actually ends up completing a pretty wild pass all the way across the field. Paul Warfield comes down with a catch for 31-yard gain. But you saw the adjustment from Ghost and you can see the frustration on the player cam. 
Um, but, you know, good adjustment knowing that Spot Me wanted to go deep. Spot Me ends up making a nice play with the playmaker and then a nice pass and, and, and a nice catch by Paul Warfield. So that's a little bit of the game of cat and mouse uh, that went along in this matchup between Spot Me and Ghost. But Spot Me did bring up that unique cover 3 one play touchdown that definitely burnt Ghost early on in the game. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I thought it was a unique little concept since, you know, not many people run Gun Bunch tight end. Really, I think only Spot Me and Dreeny are the only two that use it in the Ultimate League. They both run Seattle's playbook. So, uh, you know, that's two out of 16 competitors. So you don't see it very often. So I just thought it was unique and, and wanted to make a video on it. So like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys, take it easy.